Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Plans, got a quick one for you. Spectrum put out another update on January 7th, 2025. Many updates for transmitters, receivers, and all kinds of stuff that we went through in a previous video. And let's update my NX6 and see what the difference is in a few of the, uh, a few of the changes. One of the changes it said was that the channel assign menu was going to look different. So let's see the before and after. So let's look at the channel assign menu on a, uh, a blank model right now. And then we'll compare it to the new one. We'll do the update together. It won't take long. We'll connect the NX6 to my home internet here. So let's just go to a model select. And we'll just do an add new model. Create. And then let's just look down here at the channel assign menu. And I've already updated it to the software version before this one that gave the NX6 14 channels. So here's our channel assign menu on a blank model. 14 channels. And let's see what uh, over here in the next menu is. And this all looks about, uh, you know, about the same for all transmitters. So let's, uh, let's see the update. Let's check the software level that we have in here right now. And then we'll update it. And see what we got going on here. Let's see if I can remember how to get down here to the... There we go, there we go. So we got the 4.00A. And the next update is... Maybe a 4.01, I think. Something like that. I'm just kind of looking around, looking around, looking around. Never read any of that stuff. Alrighty. So, we need to go to the Wi-Fi Utilities. Now, we're going to connect it to the network. Hang tight. Alrighty. We're getting dialed into the internet here. Connecting, continue, and now that we're connected to my home internet, I need to log into my my spectrum. Hang tight. Alrighty, put my credentials in. Let's make sure. Yep, because I can't go to login, so that confirms that I'm logged in. Check for the update. Thumb twiddling. And it's twiddling some more. So, 4.01.16 is what is uh, next in line. Yep, because we have the 4.00A. I didn't see the 15, but we have 15 because it says installed. And the next one up is this guy right here. So, let's go ahead and update it. It added many different things you can go over the list of uh what it's going to do for your transmitter if you're not you know updating an nx6 some of the updates are going to be different for different transmitters just every so often spectrum comes out with updates just like uh your smartphone one day you turn it off and on for for the heck of it and you see that it needs an update or when you turn off your uh, home computer or whatever there's updates spectrum does the same thing so i'll be back when the uh you know when we're closer to a hundred percent oh we're getting a little closer well today's friday the 17th of uh january the the update came out 10 days ago was when i saw it in my email if you don't uh get the email you know newsletter or whatever from spectrum and then that's why i'm here i can let you know when updates come available you can always check your my spectrum account for you know news if there's updates or it's always a good idea to to get the emails from them so you can get notified for these kind of things my internet is obviously not the fastest and this uh transmitter probably doesn't have the fastest uh, processor in it so it probably took oh three or four minutes for the update 
and it's finished downloading and now it's I guess it would be uploading it into the transmitter I'm not a not a computer uh, expert on all that lingo but we did see it download because it said so <laughs> so I guess it's gathered the info and now it's putting it where it needs to go inside the transmitter it said it fixed um, it said it fixed one of the screens to help you uh, set your retracts up it said it fixed the channel assign screen it fixed a couple couple bugs and one of the things it said was that it's going to make it easier for the next time you update it something about not having to connect to the server in order to update maybe it's just going to be a little faster i don't know i mean it wasn't that big of a big of a deal i had to go get my password that i had wrote down and and type it in but you can all, always select auto connect where it stores your password inside your transmitter now i just i just didn't do it so i had to manually type it in which is no big deal so let's see here all right download complete so now we need to install it into the transmitter and this is the part where you need to make sure you got a good battery and all that because if your battery died you know, during halfway through this process, it, it could be pretty bad. Because it's big, bold letters. Do not power off. So let's uh, click install. Remember a few updates back, one of the big changes was how we can power off the transmitter. Because for a while there, a few updates ago, the way you had to power off the transmitter was hold the power button down and you had to hold it down hold it down hold it down and finally it turned off and now you just tap the scroll wheel one or two times and then it, or no you tap the power button one time and then you roll the scroll wheel and click power off and it makes things a little little more easier i think we're almost there stand by and it finished so let's pick another complete model and then look at that channel assigned screen and then uh then i'll put them up on the screen side by side and we'll talk about them if there is something major different uh, that we can we can see model select add uh, new model create and the channel assign boy it sure is different huh wow almost like how it looked the first time but we can change our frame rate i guess right here it looks like so there's only 10 channels here so we'll have to go to another screen i guess to get to the 14. nope it put it up to 20. i'll be darn it took the nx6 to 20 and i did not know that in the uh in, when I was reading the what the updates were going to do in the update video, wow! So it gave the it gave the NX6 20 channels, but it looks like channel 15 through 20 are limited function, just like maybe the seventh channel was on the NX6. Like you got six full blown channels to do whatever you want with. And then it had a seventh channel with limited functionality, basically, so you could turn safe on and off or, you know, landing gear up and down. You know, you couldn't do mixes or anything. And we can kind of see right here how the frame rate is automatically set on 22. And if you're using digital servos, you would change it to 11. And then over here, there's nothing. So let's just see. So I can't get over there. Let's go up here to these. I can't get over there either. Oh wait, let's take it from inactive to uh, let channel or switch B, and I still can't get over there to, to 22. Let's change this guy to A, so can't get can't get over there. So I guess you got to go to the frame rate screen in order to change the frame rate. So let's just see here real quick. Let's see if we take one of these. 
that doesn't have the frame right next to it and just make it uh, okay these are all digital channels it's gotta be I probably just need to stop talking so because I don't know it yet so we put it on switch A Let's make sure nothing else is on switch A. Okay, nothing else has switch A assigned to it. And let's see if we can find frame rate on here. Right here. So throttle, the aliens, elevator, rudder, and gear. Oh, not supported by older receivers. Channel 14. So maybe the channel 15 through 20 are just inactive. So you want a four channel transmitter, a six, eight, ten. Hmm, I guess I'll just have to play with this, guys. There's no need to put the the channel assigned screen side by side because um, because I just don't uh, don't know it yet. It's brand new. Boy, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to learn all that stuff. Well, we'll just we'll just delete these models that we uh, added just to just to look and then. And I'll just have to figure that stuff out and report back to you guys. Because that's a, that's a lot to get into. And as soon as I get it figured out, you guys will definitely, definitely know. Alright, utilities and delete. And delete. And there it is. Alright guys, hey, thank you so much. That's all for this one. Like I said, once I... Uh, learn about all these new channels i will definitely report it back to you guys and let you know what i figured out boy it's got some cool colors there all right guys hey thank you so much i appreciate it happy flying i hope everybody's doing well there's a lot of chaos and all around the globe right now with, with fires and floods and hurricanes and snow and i hope everybody is doing good and safe and uh, i guess that's it i'm rambling until next time you'll see me here hey guys like, share, subscribe, and share some more, and subscribe like four more times, and then make sure you're still subscribed, because people are being unsubscribed for no reason, and I don't know, I get those messages every day, how come I'm being unsubscribed, and I said, I don't know, say that 10 times real quick, huh, hey, at 20,000 subscribers, three jet giveaway, all right guys, hey, adios!